What is up you guys? It's your tall guy reporting Universal Studios Hollywood for updates galore. Most importantly, Halloween Horror Nights. I'm wearing my, what Dalen would call my battle vest that I used to wear for all the haunt events. Scary Farm, Universal, Chucky, representing anyway. I'm excited to talk about Horror Nights, guys. More speculation, uh, more tents have gone up. So now we have a total of, I believe, three tents that have gone up in total. Excited to hop on the studio tour, cover some of the 60th spoiler stuff that we're going to be getting into. I heard the merch has dropped. As you can see, all around me and the red carpet, no more Nintendo World Anniversary banners are up. They are soon going to be promoting the 60th anniversary studio tour for y'all to celebrate during the summer. It's going to be a blast. We've got a lot to cover and offer uh, during that season. If you guys haven't done so already, I would always appreciate it if you drop your talk guy a like, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already. Appreciate all the support you guys have been showing me towards the channel, everything overall. Um, like I said, I try to be as consistent as possible, so if I don't upload as much, I'm sorry. Work is work, life is life. But um, let's talk HHN. Really quick, taking a peep at the board, wait times. Spring break crowds are clearly gone. We got no way for the studio tour. We'll see what happens when April 26 hits. <laughs> 15, 25 Mario Kart, unheard of. All right, so all your pass holders out there or any families thinking about booking a trip, now's your time to come within this uh, two to three week period. All right, so first things first, definitely hopping on the studio tour to see what the tents look like down there. And right off the bat, check it out. Studio Tour has changed out their banners to the 60th anniversary. It's pretty cool. Nice old time view of the trams. And we got a spot look of the Glamour trams and the runaway train that's going to be featured. All right, so while we wait in line for the Studio Tour, group, let's talk about some of the 60th anniversary stuff that's kicking off April 26th. Um, most importantly, we're going to be hopping off the studio tour, literally jumping off the tram. When they tell us we can't, we can. It's kind of, if you guys recall, the um, terror tram there in Halloween Horror Nights. It's exactly what's going to happen for daytime hours. Hopping off at the Bates Motel and a lot of what we're seeing is um, old props and photo opportunities that used to be all around Universal Studios Hollywood way back in the good old heyday. So it's going to be a walk through Bates Motel, all the way up through World of the War sets. I'm not too sure if we're going to be walking through the Jordan Peele uh, Nope set, but if we do, then we obviously know where the pickup zone is at. If not, they'll be picking us up right after War of the Worlds. First film. It's kind of cool that we have them here on the lot to celebrate our 60th year anniversary. I do hope you come and join us again um, a little later in the uh, summer season to celebrate our 60th year. We've got some cool stuff coming up for you, so we are All right, got off the studio tour, made it to the famous lookout spot for all of our HHN fanatics. Now, I'll be talking, but you don't have to look at me. Here's some uh, construction coverage and HHN B-Row for you to enjoy. All right, all right, so to start the conversation off, we have our third tent in place where Holidays in Hell was last year, right behind the Stranger Things sound stage maze is where a uh, tent has constructed. Rumors are rumors and myths are myths, whether what you want to believe on the internet or not. But what I want to talk about mainly is what everyone is, else is talking about as to that giant, uh, is what everyone is calling the giant tent. And there's a big facade going in front of it too. It kind of looks like the facade is a very square, rectangle-shaped facade, kind of like what the Mummy one looks like. But the Mummy one is a little bit smaller compared to the one over at the Curious George H-Lot area. I'm talking about what everyone is calling it, the giant tent, because it does have a pretty good-sized facade. I believe it is Freddy Krueger, but not a standalone. I believe we are getting Freddy vs. Jason uh, yet again. But the last time we did see them face off was back in 2016 when their maze was back over by the the back lot uh, past toxic tunnel if y'all remember whoo <laughs> a long time ago good old days of harness you know what i mean but um it's got that same structural facade 
as uh, the 2016 one, the Craven, Craven Industries uh, building front, uh, whatever you want to call it. It's a very basic rectangle shape, but it, it was pretty big. A lot bigger than the mummy one, I, I want to say, but you know, you can only scale so much when, when you're way up here looking down on it compared to when you're down there in person. Now tell me what you guys think. Do you prefer a standalone Freddy maze or would you love to see Freddy vs. Jason? Uh, personally, the more the merrier. Uh, bring me both of them again. Give me two different endings like how he did in 2016. That's just, that's just what I'm going to roll with. But y'all let me know what y'all think. And just remember, everything I'm talking about right now is not confirmed. It's all rumor and just speculation is the fun part about covering Horror Nights. Until we get those juicy announcements. As of today, no announcements though. Soon, hopefully soon. Now on the conversation of our Universal Monsters, guys, we, it's actually a runner-up conversation to be talked about. If you guys have heard the movie, Abigail is a uh, Universal horror flick that is coming to theaters uh, mid-April, I believe. I'll put the date right here in the corner. But, uh, said to be some kind of a Dracula vampire monster. Part of the Universal Monsters collection now. There were some conversations about her coming to the event, but I, I just don't see the draw personally. Um, but I still firmly believe Creature from the Black Lagoon is said to uh, come this year only just, just because it's making its anniversary. It's hitting a big anniversary this year. Who knows? Creature is one of the last few monsters that we have seen at Horror Night. So. It'd be great to finally just get some love and recognition towards that guy. Or just combo him with another monster like they always do. So, like I said, the more, the merrier. Just making a quick pit stop by the Fast and Furious construction. Our view has not gone away just yet, so we're soaking it all in as these guys are still working. Still working on foundation here and there and just looking up the hill. It looks like they're working on some support beams up there as well. Uh, still no opening date announced just yet. Obviously everyone knows the big secret by now. But once we do get that official opening date, uh, my predictions would be for next summer, if anything. Next summer sounds just about right. Just to have a roller coaster set in place to draw in those crowds. Bring them to another new attraction. Sightline's gonna go crazy. Wonder how much longer we're gonna be having this site for before we transition over to that uh, point of view. Oh, look at that. They're lifting, all right. And today's special is always gonna be the fish and chips. Best thing to get here. I'm not gonna lie, when it comes to the fish and chips at Universal, they never dropped the ball. I never had uh, an issue with fish and chips. Gonna stay hydrated with uh, water cups. Not gonna be paying $8 for a ghillie cup. Don't mind me. <laughs> but only thing I wish I did have was a second tartar sauce. Now shout out to Universal for dropping the 60th Studio Tour merch early at City Walk. It's not in the park yet, just at City Walk. But check out the art they got going on for the anniversary. Of course, the Glamour Tram is the star of the show. Jaws is in there too. Then we got Dylan LA shooting his piece. Well, let's check out what we got. Not confirmed, but heavy rumor is Woody Woodpecker coming back as a meet and greet. How exciting will it be to get him back? I mean, it's only been a few years granted, but it's been a minute since we've seen him in the park and he's featured on the popcorn bucket too. Check out these glasses. I'm probably gonna buy this down the down the road. It's a very nice studio tour glass. Very beachy summer vibes. Of course, when all this is debuting. Then we got the hoodie. Here is the back of the hoodie. And the front. Nice 60th logo right there. Gotta love the diamond anniversary celebration. Check out the backpack, which is gonna go run you for $60. Then just right off to the right of me, we got some Studio Tour socks. Of course, you gotta sell the socks. They got the t-shirt that they've been posting all over their socials. That's a nice colored tee. Uh, what are you? Oh, chocolates, I assume? <laughs> I saw nutrition facts on the back. Happy. Then we got some lollipops and 
I'm assuming this is another chocolate box. And a beautiful, nice, heavy duty mug, Universal City. We're running for $20. And past discounts do apply, by the way. Probably gonna pick this up out of the collection too. It's a multi use decal set. It's gonna go nice on the laptop studio, editing studio. And then you got a little replica studio tour tram. I wish this was the Glamour tram. But it's the electric trams. You can see that the Universal Studios is green. Don't forget that like button, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. You'll catch this tall guy, Dell in LA, at the next theme park. We are out of here. here. Bye, guys. That's going to do it for the vlog, guys, for the updates at Universal Studios Hollywood. A lot of HHN talk, and I'm, I'm here for it. Heading out to a movie screening right now for the movie Abigail, Universal Monster, apparently. Yeah. So, we're going to see what that's about. But. Nonetheless, guys, we'll be back for the updates as always. Don't forget, get a free drink, you said? That's right, get a free drink. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see, soon enough. All right, you guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, SoCal Tall Guy, Dell in LA. Yes, sir. You'll catch us at the next theme park. We are out of here. Whoa, really bright. Hold on, redo that, redo that. Don't forget that like button, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. You'll catch this tall guy, Dell in LA, at the next theme park. We are out of here. Bye, guys.